So let's talk about that. How can we finish strong? How can we finish this event strong? And I'm going to walk you through three steps to help you finish your next big event strong. First one is this. We spend a lot of time talking about setup, but too often teardown falls on a couple people's backs. A couple people are doing it, including yourself. They're all night and things never really get cleaned up the way that they should. Teardown is just as important as setup. It's just as important as the, as the event. Why? Because I want to leave it cleaner than when I got it in the first place. And so I create a whole volunteer team that just does cleanup. In fact, in a lot of my events, I like to end in the auditorium, which means the rest of the campus can be getting cleaned up during that time frame. We want to get cleaned up and out of there as soon as possible. Other things that I've done is I've done like a volunteer celebration, but I've had everybody wait until we were cleaned up to do it. It's amazing how quickly teenagers will help clean up if there's pizza at the end. Okay, do make sure before you leave that night, everything is only put back in its place, but it's ready to go for the next event. Are you ready for an innovative tip? Before the event, weeks before the event, I walk to the campus or have somebody else do it and we take pictures of every single room. We take pictures of what they look like before and we print them out. And then whoever's in charge of cleanup, and I make sure I've got a very strong person in charge of cleanup, somebody who's gonna point and give directions and tell people what to do with a smile on their face. I give them a picture of each room. I write down little notes of what we need to do to, to put things back in place. I even put notes in there of where things are gonna get put for storage. And then before we leave, we look at that picture. Does the picture line up with how the room looks? We can shut off the light and call it good. But let's make sure when we do tear down, when we do cleanup, we finish strong and we return it better than it was when we started. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday tip. If you want to find out more about creating a fresh nursery, let me encourage you to check out our brand new lab on it. In there, we're going to be talking about how to create a family-friendly relational experience with an emphasis on safety so we can share the hope of Jesus with those babies. We also threw in some ideas about creating a fresh new environment or a redesign to look at. Take a minute and check out this fresh lab. And then let us know if you have any thoughts or comments. We'd love to answer any questions that you might have as you make the journey towards having a fresh nursery.